are we in a debt crisis or are we headed for one? Um, we are at the, in my opinion, we are at the beginning of a very classic late cycle, late big cycle debt crisis when the supply demand gap, when you're producing too much, too much debt and you have also a shortage of buyers. What's happening now as we have to sell all this uh, debt is we then have, do you have enough buyers? There are changes now in terms of the quantities in the world that are being held by um, large investors around the world that have lost money in these treasury bonds and so on. And then there are geopolitical changes which are having an effect. Some cases, some countries are worried about sanctions. And then there's this geopolitical shift. So when I look at the supply-demand issue, there's a supply-demand issue for that debt. There's a lot of debt. It has to be bought, has to have a high enough interest rate. So a crisis, that's, you know, if we continue down this path in terms of what, what's likely over the next, you know, five and ten years, then you, what you reach the point that that balancing act becomes very difficult. How will we know? And is it really a function of not having enough buyers for the federal debt? Is there any evidence of that so far? Um, we, we're right at the brink of starting to find out that. The amount of selling of government debt um, collapsed, right? We didn't issue government debt. Um, and now we're going to issue a lot of government debt. And so when one looks at, when we look at the buyers, there appears to be a shortage, a significant shortage of the buyers for that government debt. But we're now at the brink of being able to see what that supply-demand um, picture looks like as we go over the next year and two. Given the challenges that we face, uh, fiscal challenges that you describe, uh, we need a political process that will help us get out of it. Do we have that? It goes to the second issue that you always deal with, which is internal conflict. Well, the, the, the things that you see happen over, over and over again when you look at history is when you have a financial not good situation. At the same time as you have large wealth gaps, you start to see the emergence of populism, and we see extremism in both of the political parties. Okay, we see that split. A populist is an individual or a leader or a political person who will win at all cost. That the rules of the game don't as much matter. And so we're in a, 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 a the, the January 6th type of incident and so on is very interesting. The political system in terms of primaries and, and the parties tends to create that sort of polarity. I think that, um, I think it's very clear that there is only one good outcome, if we can. And that's a strong bipartisan middle, because either of the extremes is not going to be able to be dominant. You're, um, the small right the, um, or, or even the small left. And, um, and as a result, we're seeing a fragmentation. Geographically, you're seeing people move to different areas, not just because of taxes, but of differences in values and so on. Um, and so you're seeing this separation. I think over the next um, two years, um, the real question is, can we maintain, can we have a strong bipartisan middle, or are we going to have that kind of fragmentation? Be we have two thing three things aligning that are concerning. Uh, on this uh, short-term debt cycle, I call it, you know, the seven-year cycle, we're about halfway through. In other words, interest rates are now at a level that they're probably going to stay at, but they're probably not going to rise much from here, and there's tightness. And the consequences of that are going to be a weaker economy going forward. It doesn't have to be a big, big downturn because of the household sector, but it is a balance sheet kind of re re uh, recession. And I think you're going to, that's, things are going to get worse in the economy. There's a financial issue at the same time as you have this internal conflict. So I think that that's going to make for um, a risky situation.